Canning ugly chicken. That's what we're up to in the kitchen today. Rebel canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. We all can use a little bit more of the old ways these days. Okay, so I found chicken on clearance. I'm excited and I'm gonna get it canned up. And I'm gonna show you how to raw pack or what they call cold pack it. All right, room temperature chicken going into the jars. This was double markdown. I love a good sale. Besides the chicken, I'm gonna need sea salt and garlic powder. Wash your jars and set aside. I prefer large mouth pints for this. So I am placing two of these chicken breasts in each pint jar. These ones are a little big. Those were smaller. So I'm gonna put one in each of these. See if I can get some smaller ones out of this other pack. Ugh. But I'll do about two in each jar. And I'm just trimming up if I see any really obvious big chunks of fat. But that's it. I'm just putting the, these in. Hang on. Each jar is getting half a teaspoon of sea salt. Just assembly line process here. There's two chicken breasts in each jar except the last one only got one. And that's fine. Maybe, you know, it'll be a meal for just one person. And then I'm also going to put half a teaspoon of granulated garlic in each one just for a little more flavor. You don't have to do that. You don't have to add the salt if you don't want. All right, hang on. All right, can't do this with one hand, but that shows you the garlic's in there, the salt's in there. All right, we're ready for the next step. So there's two ways to do this. So there's two ways to cold pack or raw pack from this stage. You can either wipe the rims, put on your lid and your ring, and you're done. Just got one handed. Not easy to do one handed and hold a camera. There we go. There. Or you can fill your jars with water. Again, keeping that one inch headspace. And that's the method I prefer. I'm going to do this one to show you what it turns out like. But the other ones I'm going to fill with water because that's the method I prefer. I like to keep my juices inside the meat. So I like that better. There's no right way or wrong way. Both are approved. Everything I'm showing you today is an approved USDA double alphabet soup ball recipe. All right, so let me get some water and finish these up. And I'm just gonna slowly add it until the water gets up to the one inch space. It smells so good with garlic. Let the air bubbles all escape here. I may have to run a slotted spoon or handle, knife handle. See all that air down there? You don't want that. Gonna have to debubble this. Go ahead and just the water can get all the way to the bottom
She kind of went all the way around. Got it debubbled all the way around. Go ahead and add your water back up to the one inch headspace. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead, wipe my rims, get my lids on. Again, not easy to do one-handed. Superb is just finger tight. So. And there you have it. My ugly chicken is out of the canner. It's cooled, it's sealed, and it may not be pretty, but it's mine and it's on my shelf. Thanks. Rebel Canners books are available in the Amazon library. The latest is recipes from the files from our Facebook group. Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.